Simone O'Brien developed an interest in sports and fitness early. For me, fitness is from when I remember. From a young age, I was always into sport, but I'd have a football at my feet, be running around. Once I was working in gyms, I kind of got to the highest point. Gym was running really well, but I wanted to kind of have bit more of a challenge. She got thinking about ways she could use her experience to branch out on her own. It kind of got my ideas rolling in my head and I was like, I want to do this. The idea was to set up her own fitness studio space. But for this entrepreneur, she wanted to create something a little different for customers. I got a chance to meet up with Simone to learn more about her story. And check out her outdoor fitness space in action. My name is Palvi and this is In Pursuit Daily. This video shows you how Simone started her very own outdoor fitness studio. So I knew I wanted to build something, so either if it was a gym or a studio, but I think because I always had my own employment within a gym, I just never took that leap of faith to do it. I dropped lunch down to my mum one day, so yeah. she works on the site as well, and just saw the space. At the time it was full of gardening, plants, tools, just yeah. kind of a site that they weren't really utilising, it's just more of a storage. My light bulb moment went off and I was like, that would be a cool place to, to train people. Yeah. I had a vision of kind of what I had planned and what I'd like to get across and get people doing within the area and build a little community up and get them training. I met with the owner, we went for something to eat, had a conversation, kind of my ideas and that was it and then from there, it literally snowballed. What was clear about Simone's pitch was her passion for providing something beneficial to her customers on a personal level. It's a training base where you can start at any level. It doesn't matter what fitness level you're at, doesn't matter what age you're at. If you wanna improve your lifestyle with your health, your fitness, and kind of your mental well-being, I honestly believe exercise can, can do that. Simone got to work. And it wasn't long before she created a stunning outdoor fitness studio space. But by the time she opened, there were a few things that were holding this brand new business back from being an immediate success. So I opened in December and it was dark, it was cold. And I literally had my sister and a couple of pals come along or someone who I knew. And I yeah. was just like, oh God, have I made the right decision here? Like, I, I honestly questioned myself. I definitely had thoughts going through my head like, oh my God, am I, am I gonna get anyone in who I don't know? A saying you hear within the PT industry is, you know, most PTs don't make the first year. Okay. And I was saying to myself, at least a year, at least a year. You've got to give yourself a year. It's been two months, Simone. Like, you okay. can't judge yourself on this. But within a few months of opening, the coronavirus pandemic hit the fitness industry. It definitely came as the biggest challenge for me, I think, and just managing to keep people motivated. With one lockdown, you can probably, you know, get by, and then there was a second, and then there was a third. So it was kind of, I can't keep using the same techniques to try and keep them motivated. So we had to kind of think of different challenges ourselves. We create an app and we had step challenges. You can see kind of who's getting the most points and tally. So it's to try and keep that competition and motivation, whereas when what you have in a class in some way. But again, nobody planned for it. I can't look at it as just a negative. I think it's somehow benefited me. Again, touching back on being outside, being able to somewhat still be able to train. You know, I did sessions in the parks, which yeah. was fine. I just got my equipment, was doing it in parks. So, and people still wanted to train. And that's another thing that I noticed. There was times, felt like minus seven yeah. on my phone when it was snowing and they were still coming because again, a lot of them were working from home. They said, this is my hour to get out. Like I'm still, mm. and I didn't have one person cancel for weather wise when we were still adapting to, you know, training and trying to still keep active in that sense. So yeah, it's definitely, it definitely came as the biggest challenge. I don't think anyone would have anticipated it and put it in a plan of, of 2020. With the challenges Simone faced so early in her business, I wondered how that impacted her own motivation. I've always been self-motivated in a sense. If I've got a goal, I'll try and do it. And I think it's because it's for other people. I just want them to feel good about themselves and I believe they can do it. So I just want to really focus on pushing them. And then my joy comes from seeing them reflecting on it and be like, oh, I did do that. I know if I push them, they're going to get the results that they want. 
For a lot of business owners, working for yourself is one of the major pull factors towards entrepreneurship. Simone highlighted her experience working in the industry first and how it helped her on her business journey. I kind of did it the other way around to a lot of PTs, to be honest. So a lot of PTs go straight into self-employed or trying to start up a studio, whereas I kind of did it after like five, six years within the gym industry and professional football clubs. And I gained the experience, I think, from knowing how to walk on a gym floor, talk to members, from then being able to understand how all clients are different in regards to goals. I think in that sense, I've been quite lucky doing it that way around because right. then when I was then looking to open the business, from little things of designing a logo, I kind of knew how to do that. I knew how to use social media. I knew how to link online systems from booking systems or, you know, certain forms or insurance. So I kind of had done that in different parts of employment and kind of then combined it all. I asked Simone for her key pieces of advice for aspiring entrepreneurs. Reach out to people that you've either previously worked with, ask for feedback as well even if it's good or bad because you need to know it to be able to keep growing like not everything's always going to be five star five star but i think again with a pandemic people want to help kind of the small businesses which is great now social media is another tool so even if you just pop questions on there someone might be able to refer you to someone else working in different gyms it's one of those things like I think for anywhere probably when you work for somebody sometimes when they don't start to appreciate the work you're putting in for their business it kind of goes unnoticed but for me now I love it <laughs> it's my name that's then put on to whatever the final product is and for me I always want it to be you know the best it can be either on the person's results on how they're feeling and that's the satisfaction that I get because I know I've supported that